Hi, my name is Esther Fajardo. This is Blake Danza, Amir Abez, and Adam Bowen. We will be presenting information regarding a two-month project that we have been working on called Cardboard Canoe. During this presentation, we will be going over project management rules in terms of the roles of each person, schedule, and budget. We will also be going over the experiments we conducted and the final construction, which led us to a final project. In terms of project management, we felt it important to establish roles as well as team success criteria early on. Our team success criteria was determined based off previous experiences, and we determined that it should be staying afloat. This is important because we want our boat to be able to survive for all of the races, which we have noticed in previous years is not as attainable as it seems. Other aspects of management we want to emphasize is establishing communication early as well as scheduling and the use of collaborative documents as well as prioritizing schedule points based off of deadlines. Okay, so now for the materials. The, there were only two materials that were uh, used in, for the construction of the canoe, and they include cardboard, which was gathered by some of the group members through uh, requesting through their uh, local reporters, so that was group cost, zero dollars, uh, and uh, duct tape. And in total, there were 10 rolls of duct tape that were purchased at the hardware store. And um, in total, is uh, approximately $60. And then over here is a list of schedule that was planned prior to the whole construction phase. And uh, some of the key dates include August 30th, which was the very first meeting uh, our group held. And in that meeting, um, the group uh, thought about designs for the canoe and thought about ideas for the experiments and which um, the test was performed on September 6th. And another uh, key date includes uh, September 26th through October 8th, which was the whole construction phase. And then uh, lastly, October 10th, which is the uh, video presentation in which we're recording currently. So now to go over some of our pre-construction testing. So we performed an initial dump test and three minute flotation tests. We did these to test the durability of the cardboard and duct tape after being submerged in water and the flotation of four different design types. Our design types are shown here in the bottom right. We had a flat bottom, a flat bottom with pontoons, a pointed bottom, and a pointed bottom with pontoons. So after we performed the test, uh, the results revealed that there was gonna be a heavy reliance on duct tape with no matter which model we went with it also eliminated the option of a pointed bottom from our design process. This was because the pointed bottom just did not give us the flotation we were looking for that we got out of the flat bottom and flat bottom with pontoons. So after we continued to review the results, we came to a consensus that it'd be best to pursue a flat bottom canoe, and that's what we went with going forward. So our team had a fun dichotomy. So Esther and I were able to compete together in the same team last year and both Amir and Adam were new to this competition this year. And so we felt lucky that we had both fresh ideas and a fresh set of eyes on the project, as well as having some experience from last year. So going into this year, we used a very similar design to Esther and I's as we had quite a bit of success with that. But we also wanted to see what Adam and Amir had to say so that we could improve upon last year's design. So it's a simple design with a flat bottom, tall walls, but we added struts in the middle to improve rigidity on the sides. We went through a construction process of four phases. The initial design, which we designed here, flaws, which were on big part and big part help to Adam and Amir, who were able to look and kind of see where they think that we could add those improvements. And one of those was with the flimsy sides, which uh, we were able to brainstorm together and put the struts in. Uh, the analysis and then led to the revision, which we had two phases of, the first being a dry revision and the second being a flotation test that we did together where Adam, Amir, and I all boarded into the boat to put the most weight as possible that we could have during the race. Afterwards, Adam and Amir looked it over and saw some flaws, some areas where we could add extra reinforcement, and after adding that, we had our final product. So here's some of the construction photos. Um, we used 40 inch by 40 inch pallet covers, which created a layered base for the bottom and which everything else would be tucked in from there. So our walls, our nose, and our back were all tucked in, taped in, using cake straps top all the way around. Uh, we had final dimensions of 105 inches in length, 42 inches in width, 29 inches in height at the very top of the nose, but walls of 18 inches, and a final weight of 65 pounds. We had 1,000 
linear feet of tape allotted and we used 945 and 245 square feet of cardboard. Here's the final product in the water. Uh, we also show a picture later of all three of us inside. Uh, you can see the struts here, a slightly angled nose cone to reduce drag in the water, and then a heavily reinforced back as that will be lower in the water than you As previously mentioned, we conducted a water test once a semifinal product was created. Our water test entailed having three members get into the boat and then they were immediately asked to get out. And we inspected the boat thoroughly to identify extra areas of reinforcement. Thank you so much for watching.